guys it's Kendra so today is Tuesday and it's been a minute since we vlogged Kelsey and I didn't have a vlog up on last week because on Monday last Monday I was sick and I wasn't feeling that well um Kelsey had to drive me to urgent care so we weren't like in the mind frame to vlog Kelsey wasn't in the mind frame to vlog because she was helping take care of me I had a fever of like 105 so that's why I needed to go to the doctor so yeah it wasn't a good time for us to be vlogging and we didn't want to you know be vlogging while I was sick and like Kelsey was playing sister nurse which she did a good job by the way that was the reason why there was no vlog up so but we're back this week vlogging um we just got done filming a video it was a sheet mask video like our favorite sheet mask so I'm getting ready to edit that and hopefully it doesn't take too long we messed up a couple times but not as much as we usually do because it's been a minute since we filmed a video like sitting down together like side by side because like our last couple of videos were like you know, individually filming videos separately except for our bun video which we still were in like the shot separately so it's been a minute since we did one like together together so but that will be up before this vlog goes up of course but yeah um i did start to feel a little bit better on friday so we went to go see wonder woman it was really good highly recommend it if you haven't seen wonder woman good movie but i'm really excited for atomic blonde with charlize taron that looks like it's gonna be really good because i'm all about a good action movie kelsey and i love action movies especially where the main character is female it's just something so empowering and inspiring like we love like a good salt colombiana like we love those kind of movies so I'm excited about Atomic Blonde, so I need to get my nails done this week because we didn't have time last week because, you know, I was sick, so. But thank God I'm better because you guys, like, I don't think people realize how much they take for granted feeling well when they don't feel that great. Like, when you don't feel good, you realize how much you appreciate being well and healthy, so. So grateful and blessed that I'm much, much better. So this footage just got done importing, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit. Um, I probably need to eat something, but I had breakfast and I had a snack right after, so I probably just eat after I'm done editing. Hi guys, so I just got done working out and I wanted to uh, show you guys uh, the matcha powder that I've been using for my pre-workout, because I mentioned to you guys that I want to try matcha powder because I heard it was a really good, like natural, like pre-workout. So this is the one that I've been using and I really like it, um, it works really good. It doesn't taste the best, but it does a good job at giving me energy, but it doesn't give me the jitters, which is great. So I got this from Whole Foods. It's certified organic, which is great. So it doesn't give me like the shakes or anything or makes me nauseous or it doesn't make me feel abnormal, which I like. So I'm going to keep buying this. Um, I don't remember how much it was because honestly, I just picked it up because I was just excited to try it. So um, this is what I've been using and I only take a teaspoon of this and I put it in a glass and I just fill it all the way up with water with ice and I drink it like that because if I take it as a shot, like I'm gonna put like a teaspoon with a little bit of water, it's disgusting. Like, like I said, the taste isn't that great, but if you put a teaspoon in like your water or something or um, like your water bottle, like a bigger water bottle, you won't taste it as much. So I prefer to take it with more water than like a shot but right now I'm just about to try this uh, protein powder green juice and this is from the evolution fresh brand I have tried this brand before and um, I liked it but I prefer Arden's garden in the Suji brand um, so um, I'm gonna try this to see how I like it these are the ingredients on the side so it shouldn't taste bad because it doesn't have celery in it and you guys know how I feel about celery I think it's absolutely disgusting I just don't like the taste Okay, so I just tried some of this, and it's actually not bad. Um, I kind of like it. I might start buying these for after my workouts because, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of, like, regular protein powder. Like, it's just way too thick for me. Like, I would rather, like, eat my protein than, like, drink it. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like protein powder, but I do like this because it just has, like, um, a smaller amount of protein powder in it so it's not like super thick or anything or I don't know just some protein powders the ones I've tried some of them are like too sweet or I just don't like the taste so I really like this though hey guys so we just got done doing a blog post and it's blazing it was pretty outside. hot it's 90 but it feels hotter than 90 degrees to me yeah and for some of my shots well most of my shots I had on like a jean jacket but I have it all the way on I had it like kind of like off 
just for the look because it like looks you know stylish stylish yeah but it was hot uh -huh. the things i do to get a good yeah. shot summer yeah. um like spring and summer blog posts are definitely a lot, a lot more difficult yes they are because you get winded faster you know when you're hot you get tired quicker so yeah like when we're like squatting down trying to get like the perfect angle and like by the time we get to the third picture it's just like okay you finished <laughs> so now we're just gonna go get some starbucks we haven't had starbucks in like a two month weeks? Oh, two a weeks month? why are you lying on us oh, it's been sorry. like a month <laughs> okay so we're just gonna go get some chai so we haven't mm -hmm. got chai tea in a while you and i both know i'm not just anybody and i regret bringing your ass to all those after parties you enjoy yourself too much and you ain't barely started i just came in next to share to end the broken heart when you roll up in the escalade for the w pain to the back no that it was me when you look at me pulling up your sleeve so i can see the rolling pain so you lay the room the corner booth raising up a toe so i would notice you but your heart's in pain i hate these tops Ugh. yes okay i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna be a brat <laughs> But, but that's a pet peeve. <laughs> I like the flat one. Um, they clearly ran out. I don't have any whipped cream, so. <laughs> but yeah, they always be like, do you mind if we just put this top on? We ran out of the other ones. I'm like, But no. they didn't even ask. I mean, I don't see the point of asking if they know they ain't got no flat ones. You don't really don't have a choice unless you don't want a top. You know? I don't even need a top. Exactly. So I don't see no point in asking. Just put it on there. It feels weird. My OCD will bother me when I have I like, know. a different top. Like with no whipped cream. It's good though, so that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, this the bottom. Is this vanilla? I think it's the vanilla. You don't put that much. Maybe that's why it's so potent. So I'm in the middle of taking my makeup off and I'm using makeup wipes because I don't feel like using the cleansing oil. But this is how much mascara I had on. Like Kendra said, it looks like lashes. <laughs> I thought those were lashes. <laughs> this is my eyelash print from the amount of mascara I had on. Yeah, I had on a lot. <laughs> so I'm just having a salad for lunch and I did some of the, well, I did romaine lettuce, some of this cauliflower crunch that's almost gone. It's really good um, on top of the romaine. And then I just did some cucumbers and some carrots. And then I just drizzled some of this dressing on there. It's the, the Dahlia onion and cilantro. It is so, so good. I got this from Whole Foods. Actually, both of these from, are from Whole Foods, except this. This is from Trader Joe's. This cauliflower crunch, um, but it's really good. So I just ordered this. Well, not just ordered it. I ordered it about two weeks ago. This Happy Way Vanilla Protein Shake, and I saw Amy Macedo talk about this. This is Kendra, by the way. But yeah, I saw Amy Macedo talk about this on Snapchat, and um, Jacqueline Hill also talked about it. So hopefully, I like it. It's supposed to be like all natural, like vanilla protein shake. And these are the ingredients on the back. It has natural vanilla bean, coconut flour, chia seeds. So, yeah. So hopefully I like it. I'm going to have it after I work out today. And we'll see how it tastes. I heard it has a light taste. This is also gluten free, so that's good also. Okay guys, so I'm about to work out. And I wanted to show you guys like how I do like the pre-workout. Um, so I'm just going to show you like, oh, sports where I'm showing. So I'm just gonna show you guys like how I make it. So yeah. So I just take a glass about this size and I fill it up with um, ice and water first. And then I'm just going to take a like teaspoon of this. So I'm telling you, I fill this all the way up with water because the more water, like the less you can taste it. Well, you can taste it, but it's not as nasty. Like I told y'all yesterday, so. So I take about that much. It's like a little bit more than a teaspoon, but just take about that much. Put a little bit back because I don't need all of it. And then I just stir it pretty much in with the water. And it's this weird looking color. It kind of smells like old peanut butter kind of, but it's organic. So that's why I just make myself drink it and it works. So. And then I just basically gulp this down pretty much. So, hey guys, it's Kendra. So, I just got done working out and I wanted to show you guys this Happy Way protein shake that I just tried, and it's really good. So, 
so I have it in a glass here and I just put it in this shaker and I put some um, unsweetened almond milk in here and I just put like a teaspoon of it in the milk and I just shook it up in this shaker bottle so this is bomb with unsweetened almond milk I highly recommend that you do unsweetened because it already has like a natural sweetness to it so you don't need extra sugar um, and it's like it's still like a light taste but it's just sweet enough for me and it almost has a cookies and cream taste even though this, this does say vanilla it tastes like cookies and cream so it's bomb hey guys it's Kendra so today is Thursday and I just got done making some breakfast and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pick the pictures that we took yesterday so that I can start doing my blog post so we'll see how I like the pictures and my hair is clipped back because I need to co-wash it and it's really dry right now so I need to also deep condition it too. So that's why my hair is clipped back. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. Just some egg whites and a smoothie. This is just a strawberry banana and kale smoothie so I'm being basic today. Um, I'm having some egg whites also because I just need the extra protein because I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this blog post until I can eat another snack. So. Um, yeah, this is pretty much my meal because I usually just have a smoothie by itself, but I just wanted to add the egg whites today. Oh, and I also need to edit a hair tutorial. I just realized I need to edit that wash day routine hair tutorial that I filmed the week before last, I think. Yeah, I need to edit that also. So I'm going to at least start editing that today and then try to do the voiceover tomorrow. If I feel like doing the voiceover today, I'm going to go ahead and do it today. So we'll see how that goes also. So. That's not going to be that long. It just takes, um, it's just more details when it comes to hair tutorial. So we'll see. So I finished the blog post. Kelsey also finished hers. And I am about to finish editing because I already started. So if you guys aren't subscribed to our blog, then I highly recommend that you check it out. And these are our categories, but mostly beauty and fashion are the ones that we mainly um post on the most so i highly recommend that you guys go check out our blog and we're gonna get into it more it's just been harder when it's hot outside to do fashion posts and i do do beauty posts quite a bit so if you guys haven't checked any of these out i highly recommend that you do so kelsey also does like skincare posts sometimes so um and we also have a hair post up that we did. We just need to work on like our other categories like lifestyle and you know other areas but um, we have quite a bit of stuff on here and we started it in January so. So now I'm just going to finish editing this. I already completely finished editing it but I'm just trying to figure out the voiceover. It's a wash day routine video so that's what this is going to be. Not sure when it's going to go up yet but you know just keep a lookout on our beauty channel for it. Okay guys, so I just had some dinner. It wasn't anything too exciting. I just had a bowl of vegetables. Um, but I'm just having my dessert right now. And I think I showed you guys this before, but not with all the added ingredients that I've been doing. Um, I just have my So Delicious Dairy Free Vanilla Yogurt in here um, with some strawberries. Because that's how I used to eat it with just the strawberries. But I've been adding blackberries and some of this granola from Whole Foods. This is the brand. So it's just oats and honey granola. And I've also been adding some of these sliced almonds. So it's really good. It's pretty much a fruit and yogurt parfait, but the dairy free version. So I've been really liking this and I just decided to make it more exciting by adding the granola and the almond slices. Um, so if the yogurt and the strawberries by itself was like too boring for you, if you already tried this, then you could just add the granola and the sliced almonds like I did. I don't always add the granola and almonds, but when I want a little extra, I just add them sometimes. So, but it's been really good. So I just opened this package from Makeup Forever and this is the Kalani Aqua XL Color Paint line. I think these are eyeshadows, not sure, but they fell out so I just had to put them back in. But I think this is really cool that she has like something with Makeup Forever. And I think this opens. Oh, it's supposed to play undercover. Charlie. This is so cool. And she looks so pretty there. Good for her. It also came with this little blue makeup bag with her name on it. And it came with three brow pencils. So, because she has her brows done there. So, I'm assuming like these are the eye colors that she has on. And 
these are the bra products she's wearing of course i'm not going to be using all these anytime we get like extra extra stuff uh we put it to the side to give away so we're watching a little princess we're obsessed with this movie ever since we first saw it on tv like how many years ago was it over 10 years ago oh we're obsessed with this movie comment down below if you're obsessed with a little princess too because this is like one of our all-time faves hey guys it's kendra so kelsey and i are about to go to dinner with our friend jay um we haven't seen him in a few weeks last time we saw him we were in montgomery um so we're gonna go have dinner at the cheesecake factory um we haven't eaten there in a while either so but yeah i'm hungry because i haven't eaten in like a few hours so I never eat like that much during the day if I'm going to have like dinner later that night like go out to dinner so I can have an appetite so I haven't had much today. I didn't starve myself but I had breakfast and stuff. I didn't have like a real lunch or anything. I just snacked on stuff but my hair is in this bun because I didn't feel like doing it yesterday. Also I knew we were going to dinner tonight and my hair wasn't going to have enough time to air dry if I were to restyle it so bun it is. So. If you guys are wondering what's on my lips, this is Bachelorette by Colored Rain. I haven't worn this color in a while, but I used to love it when I first got it, like a year and a half ago. It was over a year ago. Um, but yeah, this is Bachelorette by Colored Rain, so yeah. You want to say hey to our vlog? It's kind of dark in here. Do I have to get my light again? <laughs> For yourself. What's up? <laughs> chicken pot, chicken pot pie. Hi right, guys, so we just got back home. Um, I'm just about to wash my face. I'm tired, so I think I'm gonna do my lazy skincare routine, meaning I'm gonna wash my face and put like an oil on and go to bed. So that's usually what I do if I don't feel like doing my whole elaborated skincare routine. So, which I already filmed if you haven't seen it on our channel. I filmed it like two weeks ago, the week before last, like two weeks ago. And probably watch one of my Disney Channel movies because that's usually what I watch before I go to bed. Because Kendra and I like recorded a bunch of uh, like the older Disney Channel movies when they were having that like 100, they were showing like 100 like Disney Channel movies or something. It was for like the 100th movie anniversary or something like that. Let me just show you guys which ones we have on here. Okay, so we have Gotta Kick It Up, Get a Clue, The Ultimate Christmas Present, The Cheetah Girls, Cadet Kelly. I watched Cadet Kelly last night. I usually watch Get a Clue just because that's like one of my favorites. And of course, Cheetah Girls. Um, we have Smart House. I probably watched that tonight because honestly, I haven't watched Smart House in a very long time. Um, we have Xenon, Double Teamed. Double Teamed is also one of my favorites. We also have Horse Sense, which is a really, really good movie as well. All of these are great movies, which is why we recorded them. So all of these are pretty much our favorites. Quince, uh, Xenon the Sequel. So yeah, just probably gonna watch Smart House when I get out of the shower. <laughs> 